Hello, today I'll be showing you how to run rally points using two smart rally battleships. This is the fit I use for the smart rally battleships full rack of high slot factory smart bombs, two pre tap rechargers, C web, C type armor rep, two kinetic armor hardeners, cap flex coils, and cap rigs in there. <clears throat> for drones, I just have a couple in case something gets off, and for the other one, the one change I made is instead of the web, it has four cap rechargers. Now, this only works for Durst, this uh, rally points. Uh, there are two types that you can spawn. The first type is here, where the uh, rats are right at the warp bin and the other 20 or so off, and the other type is. And the other type is where the rats are 20 or so off those for sure. I forgot to undock. Like this. Now, uh, what you want to do first is you want to be in. You want to have all three of your. You need free tunes for the, the setup I'm using. <clears throat> so make sure you're all in your make sure you're all in the same fleet. And move one of your uh battleships to squad command. Let's just go with Oscar here. Now uh for the site where you that you uh, where the rats are right at you, you don't need to do any prep work, but for this set, you have to... If you see here, there's a Gerstas Lookout behind the tower sentry defense. Just approach it with a pod. Make sure you use a pod because rats will not shoot pods, they'll shoot everything else. Just approach with a pod, and you'll be fine. <clears throat> Just make sure you turn on the hardeners. Now uh, these sites are these sites where they are turning off are easier, they're faster. Since they have less spawns, the ones where the rats are fairly where the towers are fairly off but the rats are right on you, they're slightly harder because uh they because there are uh turrets that shoot heavy that shoot missiles and you you could just press all your smart bombs at once, but then damage will be crew and that after a while it'll start being an issue and it's easier to also use this point to practice how to f properly firewall. So what I'd like to do for this site is press them in order, give it like half a second or so between presses. And as you can see, by the time my mass part bomb cycles, this one will have cycled as well, so essentially this is what is known as a firewall. It essentially have uh, smart bombs start cycling every single tick, so they will destroy missiles, which will uh, mitigate a decent amount of damage. I don't see the heavy missile notification yet, but... As you can see there, it was very brief, but... Uh, you destroy the heavy missiles that are shot from these heavy missile batteries. Make sure it's approaching there. These star pithum, they do take a while because their base damage resist is really high. The uh, oh, it's only this version, this variant that has star pithum. The other variant doesn't. On the last wave, you may find it helpful to sometimes lock and web the battleship. In any case, you should always lock the battleship because once the battleship goes into structure, you are basically free to warp to the next site. Always lock the battleship, but whether or not you want to web it is your choice. Smart bombs do have a range of 62, 6.2 kilometers, so for example here, it's only 3 kilometers off, 1 kilometer off. I don't think the battleship is burning out, but just for safety, you can always web it. Do note that in this version, the battleships do 
in this variant, the battleships do uh, do ECM you, so you may lose, so you may get ECM'd off your lock. Okay, so uh, I finished this site as you can see really quick, and now I want to warp to the pod that I pre-staged on the twin on this other site. And the good thing about warp is once you press warp two, you can then move the other character around. They already have locked in the destination. No, provided you don't get tackled or anything like that sort, which shouldn't have happened anyway. So. <clears throat> you can see here another twenty kilometer site. Uh, for now, I know that this. I know the way the system works is there are two of each variant. So if I, since I know that this is the second one where it's twenty kilometers off, the final site will have the missiles. So I won't need to pre-stage there. For these sites, there are no missiles, and chances are half the time you will be in range to build the battery as well. So you can just press all your smart bombs as quickly as possible to finish the site as soon as as fast as you can. There's no need to fire while here. Of course, you could for practice, but your choice, honestly. <laughs> as you can see, uh, these ships are dying really quick. And final wave. Now, uh, you may be wondering why would you uh, why would you want to smart bomb rally points? Are the ticks good? They are not. This system has, if I recall correctly, the system has a 155% BRM, and I'm only getting five mil ticks or so on each account, which means 10 mil ticks per rally points I do. You don't do these for the ticks. What you want, what you find them for, is for the escalation that rally points escalate to. The escalate to goes to six out of tens. Again, I see structure, so I just swap to the next site. The escalate to goes to six out of tens, which uh, have the chance to drop very good loot, including the Python A type multi spec, which costs at time of recording around 970 mil. So, yeah, they're very lucrative <laughs> if you can get the good drop. They also are uh, this. If you want to, you can also do these for ADS because as you can see, you're just chewing through these rats like nothing. It will be great for just, there are several waves of rats and you just destroy them very quickly. It's really good for raising ADMs as well. As you can see here, uh, four structures, so I'm going to firewall again. Now that one was a bit slow, but it doesn't really matter because I have coverage on every single second, well, or every single tick. So every sing so basically all missiles will get destroyed by smart bombs. And my pod is already staged. <clears throat> So yeah, the only reason to do this is either for ADS or to farm uh, growth to farm the escalation, which is very lucrative as well. Uh, the final way does have a chance to spawn Dragaristas rats. Uh, they will spawn as a battle cruiser, so just watch out. Uh, with this variant, you won't get anything, but for the other variant, you'll get a notification saying. Um, the commander has appeared or something like that, so you know what to watch out for. But they're very rare. I usually find, like, if I get 10 escalations, I only get one dread to spawn. So you shouldn't bank on getting them at all, really. I can see ECM. My ship got ECM. It's fine because there's only one battleship. And now he's instructor, so I'm going to work off. And I now I can dock my pod back up. <laughs> now uh, this is really quick to do these, but as 
but they sites do take some time to respawn around 20 minutes or so i would say uh so basically you're just doing this once every 20 minutes which honestly isn't that bad of a deal if there were a site like a uh, gersus haven a rock haven which you can chain with materials then you could basically have constant uptime but brownie points you can't really chain like that if you uh, there are ways to use a material instead and have a micro drive fit so you can finish i think it's a hidden dent as well while you wait for the respawn timer but too much work <laughs> it's easier to just i besides i find the downtime really helps just not having to worry about oh yeah let me make sure <laughs> Let me just stock up and come back in a while. <laughs> As you can see, uh, this battleship is spawned free chaos. I don't think it's going to burn out of range naturally, but just in case, I'm going to wipe it. <laughs> now, uh, I did use Dracoresis bombs and uh, a Dead Space Armor Ripper, but you could use meta for both of these. Uh, just use large compact ACM and use the uh, meta or Meta uh, smart bombs. Okay. And now I'm going to head to my stock. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I did not get an escalation on any of these, but the sites are cleared. Um, But yeah, use a meta smart bomb. You could use T2 if you want. It has 6k range, but they have much harder fitting. But, anyways, that's how you run rally points using two battleships and uh, third alts. <laughs>